started uh, joining Sangini in 2014, I think. It's uh, uh, the project uh, Sisters in Sunderland. Uh, so it was uh, introduced by a friend that they are doing this and then I joined in that, that project and since then I've been staying uh, all the way <laughs> along with uh, Sangini. Yeah. Uh, that was a very amazing project and we, we did uh, photography and we did uh, a book and, and also oral history recording. Uh, to tell uh, people our stories uh, as ethnic, uh, minority ethnic women who come to this country and make their, their life uh, and the, the barriers they met, they had and uh, difficulties they overcome. So it's amazing and it's uh, also inspired, it, it also inspired me to think about my uh, my pass. Um, I used to be on the board for some time, for about one year or two years, <laughs> but uh, I was uh, really busy with, uh, uh, with my business. <laughs> uh, so I, I uh, resigned uh, from the board, but I keep on uh, coming back on the art projects, yeah. <laughs> During the pandemic, we, we were online on the Zoom meeting every Friday and uh, myself, I did a lot of uh, other, other uh, projects and we involved with other uh, like art groups. Um, I call them my art bubble. <laughs> so, and also for, for Sagini's this uh, Zoom meeting. So we had, uh, I was involved in the felt making. Um, so we had an artist called uh, Lena Archbold and we invited her to head, uh, have about three or four sessions. And uh, so this is the, the piece I made. <laughs> uh, with the yeah so uh, after that and I really uh, like find my uh, yeah my creative uh, creativity and uh, before I was doing a lot of uh, other uh, art project uh, contemporary and uh, abstract art paintings and print making and uh, through this project I really find, oh, this is my interest. <laughs> I'm really interested in, in fabric, in uh, textile. So it is really nice to combine all the skills uh, before and this new skill. So I made, a, made a, quite a few uh, artwork and all given uh, to friends, family, and sold, bought by uh, collectors. <laughs> I think um, Sangini uh, was the first to introduce me to these uh, local art communities. So in a way, uh, one thing lead to another. Um, if you look back, Yes, I was a, a, a business person and I had, I, w I was doing a lot in my life. Um, but in, the, in a way, I'm not familiar with the local, uh, how, how the local um, community uh, is working. So it's, it's a way of leading me to uh, all these uh, opportunities and uh, know uh, more people. Um, for example, now I am involved in, in many other uh, art groups. So Sangini was the first. So it's a, in a way, uh, it inspired me. This is a way for me, <laughs> yes, um, to, uh, to know the culture, to embrace the culture and to also to, to be uh, accepted by the, by the community. So now, mm, 
I, I designed uh, the two restaurants. Uh, I was the interior designer of the two restaurants, and so, and I went back to China to source everything, and I was uh, not sure at the beginning, uh, because I don't know I am a Chinese, <laughs> and uh, do well the local people like my uh, way of design, uh, or so it's it's a learning <laughs> learning process also. And uh, after the, the, the restaurant was done, and it's so well accepted by the local people and so popular, so it's a kind of give me more confidence. 